Hello everyone and welcome back to video number two. In this video we're going to look at backgrounds or backdrops. So if we go to the bottom right of the screen we can see stage and backdrops. In order to get to the backdrops we're going to click on this image and notice now instead of the costumes tab they have the backgrounds tab. So I'm going to click that and now here I have the option to delete that winter background. And by default, they give you a plain or white background. So once again, if I go back to the bottom right, I can either choose a backdrop from their library. And if I click on that, you can see as I scroll that they have a bunch of different backgrounds you can choose. So if you don't want to make one yourself, they are there for you. For this platform game, we're going to actually make our own backgrounds. So I'm going to use this blank background. And the first thing I want to do is change the name of the background. This is a really good practice to name your backgrounds and characters so they're easier to keep organized and find later. So I will change this one to level one. And this will be the first level in our game. And what I want to do is have just simply a sky background and some dirt and grass platforms. So first thing I want to do is make the sky background. And notice they give us options here for what we can do when we are drawing our background. We can use a paintbrush, erase, use the fill tool, add some text, and then make a line, circle, or a rectangle. So what I want to do is make a rectangle for the background. So I'll click on that rectangle. And up here it says fill, which this is going to be the color of that rectangle or square. So if I click this arrow over here, I want to make it more of a blue color, blue for sky. So let's go about right there. And let's say, I'd say about right there, maybe it's a little bit too bright. Let's go about right there. So now I have this blue color so I can click away. And as long as that rectangle is selected, I can click and drag. I'm going to fill up that whole background. That's going to be my sky background. Now what I want to do is make those platforms with dirt on the bottom and grass on the top. So once again, I'm going to use that rectangle tool. But now I want to change my color to more of a brownish color. Brown for dirt first. Let's go about right there. Looks good. With that rectangle selected, I'm going to go to the bottom of my screen and drag all the way across the screen. Now I have my dirt portion of my platform. Last thing I'm going to do is add the grass portion. So once again, with the rectangle tool selected, I'm going to change the fill to more of a green color. There we go. And once again, click and drag across the screen. Say that it didn't work out this nicely. You can always just click on that section and move it around the screen. Say I wanted it to be taller, I could drag it and make it taller, shorter. If I didn't want it as wide, I could do that as well. So now, since this is the grass, I actually want to make it a little thinner. There we go. And I will drag it on top of my dirt. So now I have my first level completed. I know it's very simple, but that's okay for now. So now what I want to do is make a couple more levels for my game. I want the levels to be similar, and I don't want to have to repeat the same steps I just did. So what I can do is go over here to level one, right click, and choose duplicate. Now notice it makes a level two, and it looks exactly the same as level one. For level two though, I want to add a little bit of lava, an obstacle for the player. So once again, I'm going to choose that rectangle tool, and I want to change the color to a red, red for lava. And here, let's make it a little bit brighter. There we go, so it really stands out. Now I can go on to the level, and drag to add that lava. And once again, move it down to position it exactly where I want it. There we go. So now on level two, I have some lava. And the final thing I want to do is add another level. So I'll duplicate that. 
and this is gonna be my level three. And what I wanna do is create some space in between those different platforms. So first I wanna delete that lava. So I'm gonna choose the select tool, select the lava and delete it. And now I want to resize the grass and the dirt. So if I click the grass, hold down the shift key and click the dirt, it will select both of them. And I wanna resize those so they're a little bit smaller. Same thing with that grass, I wanna resize it so it's about the same size as the dirt. If you ever make a mistake, that's okay. All you have to do is hit this back arrow key and you can go back and work on it again to get exactly what you want. There we go, so that's better. So now I have the dirt and the grass. Let's move that grass down a little, there we go. And now in order to make the second platform, instead of recreating it, what I can do is copy this existing platform. So once again, if I click the grass, hold down shift and select the dirt, I can use the buttons at the top, copy and paste. And notice now it made an exact copy of that same exact platform. So I did not have to start from scratch. Copy, paste, there's my third platform. Now I have three platforms with space in between. So another obstacle for the player. If they fall in the hole, maybe they lose a life or they have to restart the level. So now I have level one, level two, and level three, three levels for my game. At this point, I would recommend you take some time, create some levels, experiment, click around, enjoy.